Right, welcome back to the F1 My Team series. This is episode 11, I do think. Uh, the next race we have got is the Austrian Grand Prix coming up on the 2nd of July. Uh, we haven't got much time left, so we've done the marketing strategy which we put on to get our teams uh, a claim up because we're looking towards that 10 uh, level because we want to look into getting our third extra sponsor. Uh, but the one thing we do have to do in this episode was renew uh, the sponsorship contracts which we're looking at. Um, hmm, what do we do during a race weekend? Or oh, qualify P10 or better? Ah, oh, I see. Sometimes we do it, sometimes we don't. I don't know whether that's a smart idea or not. Complete a week without colliding with another vehicle. Ah. For 20 point. No, because Sean just can't do anything. Right. Be your rival during a race. Uh, achieve fast slap. Achieve a top 10 finish during a race. In fairness, the last three races we've done have done that. But, again, we might have a few mistakes where we can't do it. Um, that's an easy one to do, but let's be honest, the money's not really worth it there. Um, overtake 10 different drivers. Nah, out-qualify your rival. Oh, I don't know which we should do, to be fair. Which is going to be the best... In it, the top four during our RC. If we had that one achieved, that would have been some mad bonus points for us. Mm. Nah. We'll qualify P4 or better, no. Um, as a team, complete 30 laps. God, we got to look into qualify f P15 or better. I mean, that's not. Not enough money, though, in fairness. Answer at least four interview questions during a race weekend. I mean, don't we do that anyway? Like, don't we... Like, don't we do that? Hmm. Or oh, we might have to go for that one, I guess. Uh, oh, complete a clean race. Is more money than them again, so I don't I don't know if to do that one. To be fair, that would be quite a good one for us because we always do all of them anyway most of the time, just to get the most points that we can possible. It's only a thirty day, thirty five day contract. You know what? We'll whack that on there. Might as well get a bit of money. Um, I mean, hope we've achieved two point finishes as well. Two points finishes. So we're going to get our goal bonus at the end of this, which is eight point two million, which is going to be massive for us. Uh, as a team. Ow. Okay, so you can actually boost some of our perks. Oh, mate, these seem like good boosts, you know. Might have to look into some of You know what, actually, I reckon we'd do some of this. We'd do the resource points. Um... Do we do the additional interview questions? I mean, they will help us, but uh, I reckon we do engine wear reduced by 10% will be good. Um, do we look at driver acclaim being boosted as well? Now, you know what? We'll leave them, but at least we've done two big boosts because I'm worried about Sean's contract. Uh, I mean, it is 2.5, so we could technically splash one out again I reckon and still get away with it so you reckon I'll do I'll boost our driver acclaim by 10% because that will help us over time uh, so at least we've managed to upgrade some of our perks which is good um, and over time we'll be able to unlock some more perks that's quite interesting I didn't know that was part of the game to be fair I've only just seen that uh, and then we'll go to the R&D of course R&D tree of course uh, and I'll see what ones we can get. That's not going to be developed for a while. Apartment capacity reached. Is there anything down here that we can... That's been purchased. Like spark plugs. Um, or do we look at some aerodynamics? But they are some expensive parts now. Because they will have a good significant like, increase. Um, the facility specs on the chassis are upgraded to the max. So you know what? I reckon we'll just see if we can manage to get the spark plugs to the engine power we won't get it this race uh we'll get it just before the hungry 
Hungarian uh, Grand Prix, but hopefully that'll be nice and sorted out by then, and hopefully it doesn't fail. Uh, that'll be the biggest thing going. So there's some big upgrades done by our team, uh, and then we'll move on to the Austrian Grand Prix now. Right, moving on to track acclimatization now. If I'm being completely honest, the clip you've just heard is uh, of a couple of days ago. Uh, there was some stuff that came up in real life with my project car that I wanted to get done, some parts that got delivered, uh, and some stuff like that. I just wanted to get sorted. Um, before anyone asks, the project car that I'm driving is an MX-5 Miata, MX-5 Roadster, depending on where you are. Uh, it's got the pop out headlights and you'll know exactly what one it is. Most people will know exactly what one it is if they're a big car guy. Um, but yeah. I've just been a bit too busy and I, I can't just hop on and play this game late at night because I want to record it. Uh, so that's why I'm quite behind. But hopefully tonight I'm going to sit and play a couple of games. So I've got quite a few in hand. So I'm able to start pumping these videos out for you uh, and hopefully show a bit more regularity to try and load the channel up and maybe gain us a few more subs and views, which would be good. I'm also trying to think of some other games to play or some other ideas. Uh, if anyone can think of any. Uh, leave them in the comments below, that'll be great. Uh, I don't know about Let's Plays, like, I don't know if anyone would want to watch a horror Let's Play or something. And I'm going to miss 5, damn it. Right, well we know we've got to improve on that corner 5. Or almost 6 as well. It is raining as you guys know, I'm not the best po opponent to challenge in the wet. Because I am definitely not one of the better drivers in the wet. I'm being honest, I'm probably one of the slowest ones on a field when it comes to it being wet. It's because I haven't driven enough in the wet and I haven't got enough experience in the wet to understand how the car handles as well. Right, at least we got the minimum score done. Now we're just going to try and beat that score. Hopefully we can. It should give us a purple, man. It annoys me so much when it's two purples, one green. And it decides to slap you with a green. That does aggravate me so much. Um, right. Oh, a nice little turn there. Can we get purple through this one? Oh, we have. Lost a bit of a wheel spin though, using the ERS. But that's okay. It's annoying that we didn't get a purple on the first set because then we'd be purple the whole way so far. Gotta make sure I break early in the wet, haven't I? Right, now let's not try and mess up on corner 5, which is coming up. Which was messed up the last time. Alright, dig into the corner, hit the apex, right, nice. Oh, and we've literally gone wide on the last one. Whoa. Okay, right. That was definitely a worse corner to take there. Messed up five and six. And seven, because I can't seem to get the car planted. There we go. We managed to get some grip back. That was definitely not an improvement. Oh, man. I'm struggling to turn into these corners. Like, it's so much oversteer. I mean, understeer. Right, let's try and absolutely smash this out of the way. So our final lap, I mean, we definitely have got some resource points, which is good. Nice. See, you still couldn't get purple there, which is a bit of an annoyance. Right, let's just get this out of the way. Nice. Smash it. Right, let's go. Try and beat our score. Oh, right behind Sean. That's nice. Right, let's go. Sean, please, that effect gonna let us pass. Oh, thank you. What a nice teammate. Right, here's three. Nice, can we get a purple here too? Try and not click that apex so hard. Lovely corner five there. Can we top it up with six? Lovely corner through there. No, 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 no. I jinxed myself. No, really messed up here. Taking the front wing off, for God's sake, on our last lap. That's so annoying. See, when I lose it in the wet, I struggle to get it back. But I was doing so well, and then the car just didn't want to turn into the corner. Just didn't have enough in it to turn. I could feel it struggling, but I just wanted to still see. But then it just messed up the next corner and the next corner up. We were doing so well as well, I think that would have been a good lap. But... That's fine, at least we managed to get 200 out of 255, uh, that will still give us some good resource points and we'll hopefully move on into the, we'll hopefully move on into the next uh, training program or practice program uh, after I've taken the car back to the garage uh, with 
so more extra damage. It's already got some, but try and minimise the damage that's extra. Right, we haven't got very long left in uh, practice one of the session, uh, but as you can see, the weather's cleared up, so it's looking good for me. Uh, it's done us for solid here, uh, but of course we're going to try and do the ERS deployment because normally we can do that in one lap, uh, and I'm hoping we can get it done in one lap, nice and done, because uh, I think that's all we've got basically the time for in this like qualifier. No qualifier, God, this practice session, I'm all over the place. Uh, but hopefully we can get it done and we can beat the Delta time. As well as keep it in the green. No, the purple, sorry, because then it only takes one lap, which is what we're looking at now. Little bit of boost there, just might as well use some. Alright, let's try and get this corner. Because this corner is where you make or break a lot of your time. And I'm happy with how that corner went. We can whack on a bit of ERS because, you know, we got we got a bit to burn. We're in the purple, nice and far. Nice and working so far. It's going quite nice. Slow it up here, so down into the corner. Not full throttle out, and then full throttle when you've got the grip. Like the bit of VRS, because we got that purple. We're absolutely smashing this delta time. I don't know if that's still like considering it's wet or not, but nah, I wouldn't have thought it would have. The game knows. Absolutely smashing that without the use of VRS anyway. But we're going to use some now just to burn it off. Nice. Right, we'll go for a high line. Cut in nice down here. And cut across here. That is absolutely dreamy. That like, that was dreamy. For what we needed to get done, we absolutely smashed it. Got a nice little purple. Uh, and absolutely smashed it on the time for the Delta. I mean, we might even be able to smash it again. This Delta. Do you reckon we can beat the bet? I'm pretty sure that's the best lap we put in so far. It definitely is, because the rest are all wet laps. Um, I definitely did not do the best in the wet. That corner was not the best at all, but we're just going to keep our ERS on the whole lap. Might as well. Uh, but there you go, set a new faster lap that we've done. Uh, so anyway, we are just go and pull in now, because this is the last lap we're going to be able to put in anyway. Might as well put the lap in, see what it's like. See if we can actually get a decent position overall a break late but not like too late that it messes it up. I think that break in right there was nice as hell. Use the ERS. Haven't got a lot left for the last lap if we were trying to push it on this lap. Right, hug this corner. Upshift to third. And then throttle out. Let's go. Nice. Here we go. We ain't got the time to do it in this lap, boy, but I'm about to absolutely set an even quicker lap. No, he says that as he nearly bins it. Is he still going to do it? Oh, I still set a quicker lap and I nearly binned it on the last corner and I managed to save it. But it's eight. I mean, that's decent for where our car is performance wise. I'm happy with eight completely. Right, we're now moving on to qualifying pace. Uh, as you can see, it is raining now for Q P2 and P3. Uh, so I thought it doesn't really make a difference when I bash it out. Uh, so I thought I'd smash it out in P2 now quickly and just get it done and dust it out of the way. I mean, hopefully we can place a decent place. Um, but I'm not, I'm not staying too positive, to be fair, uh, as it's in the wet. Uh, but we've only got to get 21st, they said, so hopefully, I don't even want to qualify 21st, I want to qualify 18th and up is where I'm hoping our team is starting to get placed, uh, which would be nice uh, for us overall. Whoa, 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 whoa. Almost lost the back end out completely. Just got to remember in the wet, I can't push the car as hard, especially being one of the lower teams still. Alright, let's proper slow down. First in the speed trap. It's because we're a bit nutty. Everyone else is like, nah, I ain't going that quick in that corner. Nah, we're just nuts. We don't care for our life. We are a whole second above the delta of what it wanted. I mean, it's catching up on us. I think I can still go for a wide line. Oh, maybe not. 
Come on, am I going to stay on the track here, please? So I can get the power down on the straight. Let's go. Nice bit of work. Right, and across the line. We got set. Where did we get? 17. Did we do it? Wait, third? Result third? Oh, wow, and we just set past this lap. I mean, that's only in P2. I think we're the only people to have come out straight away now. Now you've got Ricardo coming out. It's not much of an achievement, but we still set fast as lap, and I'll take that. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. How right, moving on to the interview part. See what she's got to say. Going into the race and qualifying? Um, the team has created a car that's good all for all conditions. Let's them all know. Interesting result today. Would you say that you're happy with your performance? Uh, yeah, I'm happy with how it played. We got our qualifying pace, which was Is there good. Is anything that you think gave you the edge over your rivals? Oh, um... Our chassis is good this year, yeah. We'll go for a chassis department for lightness, because they never get any of their limelight. Thank you, no worries. Have a good day. Right, as you can see, we are moving on to the qualifier now, the one shot one, the actual one that means all the business. Uh, I have uh, decided to change all the parts that were torn, uh, were worn. Uh, I don't think they're beyond for the qualifier, but hopefully they should have done it on the race. I've got faith in our garage, uh, and then we should be at max capacity for the race in hand, and hopefully smash that out of the park. Right, so let's move on to the actual one-shot qualifier now. Thankfully, it is dry for our one-shot qualifier, so we should get a decent... Um, result at the end of this hopefully he says as he almost messes up the first corner in Hamilton if you'd like to let us catch you that would be great mate uh, of course we ain't got the power to do so we got to do the whole break early and make the nice corner to kind of keep some of our pace but we messed up there should have kept the accelerator down instead of pulling away that cost us a few seconds Cares about tire wear. I mean, we shouldn't be fair because we're using the top end. We can P, uh, get anywhere above 16, that's the happy spot for us, or 18 to be fair, because uh, we are still gonna push for these little tables. Oh god. I mean, I don't know where we can, but if we can get above 18 or 18, that'd be great. I don't know where we've managed to place in that, to be honest. It wasn't the best lap we've done. 18th, all right, that's good. So 18th and above is where we want to be. That's at least four positions behind us, which is good for us uh, for those points. It wasn't our best we're lap, uh, but it's I don't know how fast people were compared to us. In fairness, we're not that much slower. It's just a few mistakes that we made that we can tweak really in the actual started. race. Make sure to join us again for... Right, we're moving into the actual race now. Um, of course, they want us to stay on wet because it's just going to be wet this whole race until the very end uh, when it stops raining. The car setup is as standard. I think I should have maybe put us a bit more downforce, but I was focusing on more straight line power because we kind of need that. Uh, but anyway, we'll move on into this. Uh, of course, Sean is basically last, second to last again. Can't rely on that man to place anywhere above 20th, really. Well, we complete this wet lap, hopefully get a decent start, okay, uh, and maybe be able to like, gain a few paces with the first couple of corners, or on the first lap maybe. But let's try and like, just warm up these tyres. Oh my god, it is heavy rain. Uh, when we all start picking up some speed, we're not going to be able to see nothing. I'm just scared of a hydro plane happening. Okay, the gearbox was a component that I forgot to change. I changed everything but the gearbox, for God's sake. Damn it, man. That's that's going to cause some problems. Hello? Okay, right, we'll just slow it down. I'm just going to go over you then. What the hell is the point? Damn it, the gearbox might cause some problems later on down the race when it gets to like 70% wear then. Oh, that's not good. Um, oh well, we just have to deal with it. That's my mistake again, but that will definitely be sorted out before next race. Right, ready and raring to go at these red lights. Hopefully we get a decent start. I'm not going to put too much power into the car, because I don't want to spin. But hopefully we can get a decent start. Well, we've managed to find some more traction than Norris and that. 
Right, power through there with the ERS, nice. Going on the outside line because I don't think a lot of people are going to take it. And I feel like if we go around the outside and whack the ERS on the straight, might be able to gain a few positions. Right, we've managed to sneak up into 12 uh, from 18th, I think we started, which is good uh, signs. And that maybe we can sneak up here if we. Whoa! Okay, Raikkonen had the same idea. Um, I mean, he's definitely come out on top of us because he went a lot closer in. He managed to stay in front of us. Oh no, it's. Good. Oh wow, I was completely wrong. I swear I saw Raikkonen try and do this. But either way, we've managed to sneak up into ninth, which is good. I have now got Stroll flexing his little power unit and his car trying to absolutely outpower me on the straights. Might actually help him to be fair because definitely not one of the most confident drivers in the wet to put down some raw pace throughout the race. This rain is quite heavy to be fair. Alright, whack the ERS on the straight, try and create a gap between me and Stroll, that would be nice and dandy. I'm going to stay high. I'm not going to put any power down, now I am. Right, I've got to be careful with this corner. Right, nice. That's a nice lap one, to be fair. That's a nice first lap. Managed to get up to ninth. I'm going to hug the outside again. Do the outside kind of tactic. Nicely done. Oh, my God. As I say that, put the power down and lose the back end. And I've given the position away again. I'm back in ninth. That's annoying not what I wanted to happen. Right, I'm going to pick the inside line. Oh, and he's going to allow it. Right, I've got to go really slow here, otherwise he's going to double back on me. Nice, and we've managed to come out with the position in 8th. That's decent right now. Put the ERS on and get a bit of space between us. And try and catch Albon, because we don't want them to get too far ahead for us not to be able to catch him. But an 8th place finish is still decent. That's top 10 from where we qualified, especially in the wet. On this track, I am happy with that. But the race is still early. There might be an incident. There might be some crashes. There might be some things that go wrong for us, especially with that worn gearbox. That could cause some issues later on in the race. But I'm hoping we'll still be able to stay there. Right, let's go. Yeah, that's what I'm going to start using now, mate. I was saving it on the first few laps because then, after everyone's used it, power it through third, fifth lap, really. Fourth lap to be fair, right? Let's just power it through. Let's keep it going. Nicely worked. It's getting faster and faster, which is what we like to see. We're slowly catching Albon. I think the gap is slowly decreasing. We ask, ask Jeff. I am, I am pushing for the position. Oh God! I didn't know if I missed that corner up there. Just don't kick out. For God's sake, as I say it, I kick out. I close the gap and I cause the gap to extend. That's so annoying. We are pushing for it though, which is a bit tough for me. Especially in the wet, but we are getting quicker and quicker, which is good. Nothing on Lewis Hamilton, but let's be real. They're miles ahead of development than us. I was scared I was going to spin on that curve. Did not want to put any power down. Right, what the ERS on on this straight. That's where we're going to go high. Carry a load of speed into the corner. Mate, Bottas is smashing the time. Oh, mate, we were the quickest through sector third, in sector three in the race, which is decent for us. Uh, to be fair, I'm quite happy with that. We were only a couple of seconds off, I think. Um, it's meant to get lighter and sunnier, but I think we're going to have to stay on Inters the whole race, to be fair. Might have to change literally at the end if it gets like too dry and Inters just aren't working anymore. We've managed to catch up to Albon, which is good, and I've caused the spin again on that corner. We've got to watch that corner, because that is causing us all sorts of problems when we're trying to catch this guy. But we've managed to create a nice little gap between us and the group of cars behind. We are now in like the top faster cars groups, which is good. I mean, Vettel's up there. If Vettel can race how he's been racing, oh, maybe we might be able to get his position too, to be fair. Not been racing very good in real life, to be fair. Quickest sector two in the whole race. But we've slowed down on our sector one, which is not good. Oh my God, a little kick out there. 
absolutely petrified me there. I thought I was losing the car. Carry some speed into this corner. Oh, going a bit wide. Not what we want to see, and I'm ruining this gearbox right now. Right, we've managed to catch right up to Albon now. Oh my god, and we've managed to have a nice little exit of that. We've had a nice exit out of that turn for once. Which is decent. Oh great, keep my number of shifts to a minimum on a track that you have to go to gear 8 back to gear 2. Like, no, oh, I'm sorry mate, this is not... Oh, please don't tell me our gearbox will fail this race. Uh, but on hindsight, we've managed to overtake Albon, which is decent. Which is good, we've managed to gain another position and now we're coming for Vettel. Oh, I just don't want our gearbox to fail this race because that will be so tragic just from a mistake of mine. Albon's coming with his little flexy power unit. Look at him trying to flex the thing. All right. Nice little ERS on. Let's go. Power it through. Try and get a little gap on Albon. It's not going to be some mad gap, but... Oh. I'm so sorry Gearbox, I didn't need to shift down there and I've extended the track. Oh my god, I've got so much back end kick. How, oh my god, I'm so lucky I didn't hit Albon because that would have been a pain in the ass of a penalty and a crash. Yeah, managed to give Vettel a gap which is a bit of annoying, but hopefully we should be able to close that. Because we were slowly closing it in the uh, pace that we were running at. Hopefully we can look at getting all that sorted. It's annoying because the gearbox where it's coming at lap 5 as well. Not even lap 5. Like maybe 11 or something that would have been more treacherous but you've still got like over half a race left. We've got a half a second gap on Albon behind us. It's like Vettel's pushing away. Oh my god a little kick out again. Now Albon's coming now and Vettel's gapping us can't be having this, we got to look at this. That was one of our slowest laps, I think. Right, we just got past the Sector 2 in the whole race. I'm going to shift down now. I mean, we are full-on pushing for Vettel. I mean, I think I'm closing the gap down, but then again, I don't think so either. I mean, if we can set faster Sector 3, like, we might be able to come out of here with a decent... Ah, uh, see, look at that, man. We're still slower than our best and we managed to set a better sector 1 and 2 we lost all of it through sector 3 there which is not good whack the ERS on on this straight just going uphill and try and get the most out of this engine that we can uh, without blowing it up all faster sector 1 in the race right, which is good I think we're right up behind Vettel now don't kick out don't kick out we need to get on the power as soon as possible right go Whack the ERS on to get some more speed out of there. Turn it off because now we're going downhill, so we don't really need the help of the keeper. Just set the fastest sector two as well. Um, I mean, Vettel still feels like he's pulling away, even though we just set the fastest, so he couldn't have been faster than us through there. Um, hopefully, we can set a decent sector three, and maybe we might be able to steal fastest lap. To be fair, of Hamilton, which would be nice. Wipe a smug smile off his face. I mean, I don't know if we're going to be able to, but crossing the line, and we, we didn't manage to set fastest lap still. Hamilton was that much quicker than us through sector three. He's managed to hold on to that, even though we set a fastest sector one, two, and three. God knows how quick Hamilton's going through that sector three then. It must be blistering. But like, we are still trying to chase Vettel. He loses a lot of pace on this corner because there's three of them. If I can manage to get the power down and sneak past him, like now, whack the ERS on. If I can hug this inside line and manage to keep... Ah, uh, he's going for it. He's not stupid. He knows what he's doing. He's going to hug the inside line and push me wide. Try and sneak for the position to get out of here. But there you go. He's right there on the right, trying to give him this racing space that he needs. Is he going to defend the position well? No, yeah. Oh, he hasn't managed to hold the inside as quick as I want. I mean, I could say it was a bit of bargy, but... I think I did quite well, he's right behind me now, he's trying to take that inside line, but it wasn't quick enough, because I was still quicker than him. Right, so we've managed to creep up into six. Um, it'd be nice if we can hold it, but I don't know how likely that is, but they were two nice end corners for us, so we've managed to 
pull not half a second gap, but almost half a second gap on Vettel. Just out of those few corners. Right, we're now up to half a second on Vettel. Uh, Max Verstappen is still over a second ahead of us, uh, which is a bit annoying, but we are going to keep pushing. I don't know what our grip on our tyres are looking like. 37, 36. We're going to start feeling the loss now, like Jeff said. I don't know whether it's worth trying to make a cheeky swap or not. But we definitely lose a few positions if we pitted, and I don't know if anyone else is going to pit. Why is there a yellow flag? Maybe we can still catch Max for Staffan there. Even though there's no overtaking, maybe it slows down their pace a little. Oh wow, Charles Leclerc is out of the race. Wow, that, I'm surprised that safety card came out. Wow, he's bottled it. Right, so there's managed to be a safety car on the wet as well. So this might be where we can get a chance. I don't know if other people are going to pit though. That'll be the question is if people are going to pit. Well, I think everyone's going to stay out on their tyres to be fair. Right. Well, we're switched to lean fuel mix whilst we're doing this. Going back into racing pace, um, I managed to give him a bit of a gap. I kind of like, didn't go particularly well. Didn't go the particular way I planned. And I'm going to mess up this corner too, for God's sake. Vettel is trying to take his position back. Oh, please, my man, leave it. Just let me have that position. No, and Albon, you can bugger off too, like... That could have been my chance to try and take the Stappen, to be fair. That corner there. Oh my god, I forgot. I'm running lean fuel mix. That might have been why I was lacking power when I wanted to come out that corner. Right, you can go away now, Vettel. We've got plus one lap of rich fuel. Right, whilst they're still relatively close, let's whack on rich fuel. That's so annoying. I forgot to do that coming out of the safety car. Probably cost us a few. Bit of power. Go. All right, let's go, baby. It's where the magic happens. Later part of the race definitely was not the best at all. It was one of my worst ones. Uh, and then also Hamilton's absolutely just smashed fastest lap out of the park in the wet. I've got no chance of beating that. Anyway, I'm definitely feeling the loss of grip now, but Vettel's got a one, nearly one and a half gap behind him, and I'm slowly catching uh, Verstappen, but it is costing my car tyres quite a bit tremendously. Right, hopefully if I can find some grip, wipe the ERS on. Wrong little car, little car that could. Come on. With your ERS on, we're going in the inside line. Brake late. We'll put the brakes on harsh. Put that inside line, try and not create any contact, which we didn't. Managed to make a nice little move at the inside of Verstappen, which is beautiful. Now I've got nearly half a second on him. Just coming out of that corner, but he is coming for me. He does not want me to have this position. He knows he's got the better car, and he knows he should be out driving me. Just my move was so nice. But look at him flexing his power. Now, mate, because there's a corner coming up. Where take all your speed away. Ricardo, if you can manage to give me your position for the next three laps, I'd walk away with another podium, please. Verstappen. I right, get lost. I'm going to whack my ERS on as hard as I can. Hey, Ricardo, yeah, if you want to give me your position coming up, hey, that would be great. If I can manage to get another podium, please, I'll whack it in rich fuel mix for two laps to catch it, boys. Please, allow it. Got to break really late. Oh, mate, that's... Not going to plan. Oh yeah, as I'm right up behind you. Come on, ERS is on. No, not a bit of kick out. That's not what we wanted. Please streamline him, streamline him. And then literally last second, as soon as he breaks. Cut down and then break. That was lovely. Absolutely lovely. Managed to take that position off him, I think. Nah, Ricardo's right there battling for it. What's going to happen? Come on, I'm going to proper hug this inside line. Have we managed to whack it out? Hey, Ricardo does not want to give up in the little, like, Renault. Hey, we've got the same engines, mate, but yours is a bit more developed than ours. You gave us a bog-standard engine. Are you serious? That little slip has cost us that position. 
Yeah. I've got to whack the ERS on. You're going to break before me on that corner, obvious. Right, let's go. Up to this speed, into this corner. Right. Oh no, oh no, I've got my. Please, please, Ricardo, please don't punish me like this. Please don't punish me like this. And please don't punish me like this. I'm going to drift wide. I'm going to go wide and then cut in. Nice, I'm a rich to normal standards. Alright, tyre wear is getting. Getting there. It is getting scarily there now. Yeah, I'm not catching Bottas, I'm sorry, and Hamilton. They are way too quick for me. And we've, me we've managed to only do this off of a safety car helping us again. The safety cars have been so much help in this series so far. Thanks to Leclerc for going out. That just nice tripping. Right, we just try and keep this. And I don't know what's holding up Ricardo, man. Because he's in a three second gap, even though we were battling. The AI hold each other up quite a bit in this game. I've noticed, uh, which is one of the reasons I managed to snatch some of the inside lines. I am on like the highest difficulty as well. I don't particularly understand why. Me, they like to hold each other up. Now I've got a three second, nearly a three second gap on him, and I'm not pushing the car. On this last lap, I wasn't going to push, but this should be pretty smooth sailing. There's no way he's going to be able to close a two and a half gap down in a lap unless we completely spin. Uh, which we shouldn't, but let's use the ERS, just get it home, get it clear, let's whack Rich on, let's just see how far of a gap we can create. I'm quite surprised if we manage to, we're going to walk away with a podium, which is quite surprising from where we qualified and how the race has gone so far. But just off pot luck and right place, right time and safety cars and stuff like that. We've managed to snatch it again off tactics, I think. Look, why are they going so slow around that corner? That corner, they lose all their speed on. It's a three second gap now, for Christ's sake. How? I'm not going to complain. It's going to get us a podium and a lot more points, but I didn't expect to be... Whoa! No, 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 no. I didn't expect to be walking away with a win or podium like so easily in the first season. Yeah, I know. Tire wear is getting scarily low. Thanks for warning me. I've also taken the front wing off, which is great, um, on the last lap, but because we had such a big gap, we've done alright, all you've got to do is hang on to this last corner, I swear to God, tyres, if you pop like Hamilton's, I swear, people DNF us, who won't even let us try and crawl it round, nice, come on, and that's it, and it's done, it's smashed out here, we managed to get third, third, Managed to pull it out of the way. What do you mean you were worried? And driver of the day, of course, goes to us. Coming from 18th, I think we qualified to come third. That is a driver of the day worthy. We're going to be up there with the two Mercedes. We're basically the Ferrari. Because the Ferrari doesn't drive like a Ferrari this year. <laughs> but this is great for us as a team. Good publicity. What's annoying is we still... We still need to sort out our teammate because Sean is definitely not battling with the big boys like we are. We need to like mid-challenge team, like at least not bottom tier. Like Sean is just not the driver for us, so eventually we'll look at getting him replaced before next season, definitely. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty there we are in the cheeky pink kit, and then of course the Mercedes sitting up there, first and second. I can't wait till we challenge them all of uh, hopefully by next season we should be like a good challenger uh fifth and up like that should be where we're six and up like that should be where we place in minimum like that's gonna be an interesting one to see who can win the championship out of me hamilton Bottas, look here i don't know i don't know if they'll still be around then but I am very impressed with so our race so far. We were nowhere near the fastest lap, of course. Uh, but we've managed to walk away with 15 points. Like, that's insane for us. Like, we shouldn't even be on the board for the championship. Maybe, like, 6 points or 12 points at the end. But we've managed to get 15 in one race, which is great for us. That was a great race and a great performance from us, I think. Great work out there today. Here we go. We got our little post-race interview. You really cut your way through the field today. What was your strategy? Um, I used the, the aero pack was fantastic to be fair. Uh, foot to the floor, the power unit can take it. 
I can't wait till our power unit can actually take it. I'm going to say the car was nimble. It did feel nimble when we were trying to weave we through. We all underestimated you, didn't we? Yes, you underestimated the team. We were in sync. Are you happy with your performance today? Yes, more than happy. I am very happy with how that went. We should not have been placing third, but we managed to get third. Wet weather today? Uh, I don't personally feel comfortable with the wet weather, but you know what? For the sake of this, nah, I hate rain. But I just did my best regardless. I'll be honest. Appreciate your time. Hate the rain. So much more strenuous. Morning, boss. This week's income from the sponsors has cleared, and we're making good profit against our running costs. That's good. Oh god, negotiate, renegotiate with teammate, or do we go to a driver market and buy a new one? Oh, that's a tough one. Oh. Here, you can make an mate, he yourself. ain't worth fuck all, mate. He is not worth. But be careful not to insult drivers, though. If you do, they might refuse to deal with you anymore in this negotiation period. I'm so. Does it look like I care? He is awful for us. A vehicle before. Driver demands 11th or better. Mate, I'd, it's better than where he wants. I don't know if I just splash the cash on him and get a new one. Or. Who else is there? We've only got 3 million. That's the problem at the moment. We've only got 3.5 million. Like, Latifi would be a, like, a good nick, to be fair. But... but I ain't got that sort of P. Like, I haven't got that sort of P. Sean, you, you're just fucking... You're dog shit, mate. <laughs> what do I know? To be honest, mate, I'll take a cheapie, boy, because you ain't placing better than him. Um, that's so annoying. We're just off the TV, you know. Where are we on the board? We're 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 eighth. We're eighth in the drivers' standings, and we're six on constructors. That is ridiculous. And all those points have come from me. Not one has come from Sean. Not one. Where's Latifi in here? He like doing decent. Oh, he's actually doing worse than Sean. That's quite concerning. But he is in a William. Well. Might have to look into that. Well, the driver contract's due on the 7th anyway, so. Anyway, we'll look at that in the next episode. Oh, leave you on the hangar. I've got to think about what to do. Right, the gearbox is being replaced. I'm sorry. Oh no. No 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 no. No, I don't no it's it's the uh, panel. Hold on. What what did I say? Um hmm. That's fine. Uh we need a new gearbox. We're gonna have to take the drop in places unfortunately. Um but also let's have a look at the activities that we can plan. So we've got the contract renewal coming up and we have an invitational uh, in the next one. I reckon we go for that, just in the off chance that we are getting rid of Sean. Uh, team building would be great, it would boost them around quite a bit. Um, but then again, what ones do we want to look at? Do we do team building to boost their morale? Which I think is okay anyway. Um, but it's all good and normal. Um, and boost our driver acclaim and maybe a bit of weight training because we don't really need the team building at the moment uh, but we did of course uh, get us some decent um, upgrades and we paid for some upgrades for us so we got us a few little tweaks and stuff that we need to look at uh, soon but the next race is coming up is the British Grand Prix but of course that will not happen in this episode uh, you guys will see that in the next episode. I am hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe. It means a lot to me. It just means I'm growing. Give me some more ideas on some games to play, some content to produce. And I will do it. Like I am quite interested in this whole YouTube scene. But it's coming up with ideas and keeping it on the run. Like If people want to watch this video, I will personally make sure I get them out. It doesn't matter. Our team is looking at 10 as well overall on the 
on the acclaim so that means i think yeah we unlocked a new sponsor as well so we'll look at that in the next episode too so there's a lot to look forward to in the next episode but that is it for this episode anyway it's been your boy murky and i'll see you when i see you guys peace